Hey Cam Fam, it's Monica here from My Big Camera. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this adorable upcycled knit romper for a one year old baby that I made just from a sweater that I bought at the thrift store. I made this for less than $5 with the sweater and a few supplies that I already had on hand. Make sure to stay until the very end for a behind the scenes photo shoot showing the romper in use, plus a bonus tutorial on how to make a newborn knot hat from the same sweater. And as a disclaimer, I'm not a professional seamstress, I'm just a photographer that likes to make cute props to use for photo sessions, so don't expect this to be anything super professional. If you're new to our channel, we teach aspiring photographers how to improve their skills, specifically when it comes to newborn and portrait photography. If that sounds like something that you would be interested in, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking that red subscribe button and make sure to click that notification bell too so that you get a notification every time we release a new video. Okay, so let's get into the video. To make this project, you will need a knit sweater or top. You can use one that you don't wear anymore or thrift one, but just make sure that it's not itchy at all. A small piece of fabric for the front pocket. I'm using lace fabric that I already had on hand. Lace or ribbon for the straps. I actually ended up using different lace ribbon because I realized I didn't have enough of this one. You will need the pocket and romper patterns that I created for this project. I will put a link down in the description where you can download it for free. Thread. Sewing pins. Fabric scissors. Okay, so let's get started. The first step is to take your sweater and create a fold in the front layer of the sweater. Place the romper pattern on the folded fabric, lining up the bottom of the pattern with the bottom hem of the sweater. This is so that you don't actually need to hem the bottom of the romper. Place the left edge of the pattern against the fold of the fabric. Pin the pattern through both layers of the folded fabric. Cut out the pattern piece. Remove the pins. And repeat for the back romper pattern using the back layer of the sweater. These are the front and back pieces of the romper. With the right sides together, pin the two pieces together at the sides and crotch. Sew the side and crotch seams using a zigzag stitch 5 8 of an inch from the edge. The zigzag stitch allows the fabric to still be able to stretch so that stitches don't pop when you put it on the baby. I recommend using a walking foot if you have one as it helps to guide the fabric through a lot better. If you're interested in buying one I will leave a link down in the description. The walking foot is amazing for stretch fabrics, slippery fabrics, and multiple thicker layers which a normal foot usually can't handle. It's also best to use a sewing machine needle that's designed for knit fabrics. Knits can sometimes be a bit tricky to sew. When guiding the fabric through the machine, make sure you're not pulling the fabric too much because you'll end up stretching out the fabric and creating puckers in your seams. Try your best to just gently guide it through. Next, turn the romper right side out. The next thing we are going to do is hem the armholes. Basically you just need to fold over the edge of the armholes about half an inch and then sew using a straight stitch. I wanted a straight stitch for the finishing hems for a cleaner look.
Now we're going to hem the neckline by folding the top of the front romper layer down by about 3 quarters of an inch and pin in place. Do this to both the front and back. Sew a half inch hem using a straight stitch. Cut two 17 inch long pieces of ribbon or lace for your straps. I attach the safety pins to one of the ends of the ribbons to make it easier to thread through. Thread the lace pieces through the two hems that you just made on the front and back of the romper. You can kind of gather the fabric to your liking. Now I'm just taking out the knots I created in the lace to hold the safety pin while I was threading. Next you can just tie the two pieces of lace together at the shoulders to create some super cute straps and a way to get the baby into the romper. Now we're going to make the pocket. You can really embellish the front of the romper any way that you want or even just leave it plain. I chose to do a lace pocket to match the straps. Fold a small section of your fabric for the pocket. Place the pocket pattern along the fold. I actually really like the salvage edge of the lace fabric I'm using so I'm using that as the top hem of my pocket. If your fabric doesn't have that, you might need to add a hem to the pocket pattern and create a finished hem. Pin the pattern piece in place and cut out. Place the pocket piece on the front of the romper. I like to line up the top of the pocket with the bottom of the armholes. Fold over the side and bottom edges of the pocket to create a finished hem and pin in place. Sew the pocket to the front of the romper using a straight stitch. Make sure to go very slowly adjusting the pocket as you go. You can also just hand sew it on if you find that easier. So here's the finished romper, now let's see it in action. I'm so happy with how this romper turned out. It was super easy and quick to make and really really inexpensive. It was really easy to slide on and really comfy and stretchy and I love the way it photographed. I'll definitely be making more of these in other colors like maybe soft pink, lavender or cream or even white would look really nice. Bonus tutorial. I hate creating waist so if I can use up the entire sweater I will. Here I'm going to show you how you can easily create a knotted sleepy cap for newborns using just a sleeve from the sweater. Basically you're just going to cut off one of the sleeves at the armpit hem. Then you just fold in the bottom edge to create a hem and sew a straight stitch. 
Then you take the more narrow part of the sleeve and simply create a big knot. It's honestly that simple. You can even use the second sleeve to create another hat for twins. This is what the hat looks like all finished. And here's a photo of it in use on our doll. That's it. We really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, we would love it if you gave it a big thumbs up as it really helps to support our channel. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more photography related tutorials to help you in your photography business. If you're interested in more prop tutorials, I'll link our playlist up in the cards. And if you'd like to download our free Photoshop action pack that we use every day for our portrait sessions, I will leave a link for where you can download those in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. And remember, keep creating.